Hi, today I'm going to show you how to animate a walking cycle using uh, Adobe Flash and we are also going to draw every single frame in uh, Illustrator then we will bring it into Flash and uh, we'll finish off our animation so first of all I'm going to create a new document in uh, Illustrator so I go to File, New, create a new document I'm going to call it Walk Temp. Um, it's going to be for the web, the size 960, 560, and the orientation landscape that should be all right. I hit OK, and then we have our document. Next, I'm going to place an image that I have uh, prepared before, which is um, from a book by Preston Blair. So go to File, uh, click on Place, and look for the image this is the image i want to have all right so as i said before this is a this is a page of a book by preston blair uh, and it's an animation so it's a really good book um and uh, what i want to draw is this double bones walk all right so i'm basically going to draw this uh series of uh, images and then uh, to do that i'm just going to create a new layer uh, our image has been placed in layer one so I'm going to lock it and I'm going to create a new layer and I'm ready to start drawing so I hit B to select my brush tool also going to select a color for the outline probably not color for the inside and I can start drawing so I'm going to draw this one first start with the head I'm going very quickly in this tutorial because I'm seriously constrained by time but uh, as you will have more time at home just uh, you know work on the details and uh, you know spend spend good time in every drawing so you will have a better uh, result but uh, for the sake of this tutorial um, that should be all right okay so I finished my first uh, drawing so what you have to do is to finish off all these uh, parts of the walking cycle all right save your document and then we'll bring it into flash so I have prepared a document uh, before with all my drawings okay so there you are okay so I basically I hit this uh, image now I'm ready to um, import this so I'm going to before I import I'm going to group every single drawing by selecting it all and pressing command G all right select all command G command G command G so on command G, command G and save it okay now um, we can move into Flash. So I'm going to create a new document. It can be in Action Script 3. We are not going to use any sort of Action Script, so that should be all right. And uh, I'm going to file uh, import import to a stage, and I select my uh, Illustrator file, the one we just created. Okay. Um, basically what you have to uh, be careful here with is that it places the objects at the original position and it remains or it keeps the same size as the Illustrator artboard which is 960 560 um, if you have a warning here uh, telling you that the color has some kind of uh, incompatibility uh, please make sure that you Illustrator file is safe as an RGB document which is uh, basically the one the one we need here uh, so I'm going to press OK then I have all my um, drawings uh, on the stage on frame one okay now we don't want these drawings all of them in frame one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and I'm going to hit right click and I'm going to distribute to layers okay so when I distribute these two layers I have every single um, drawing 
uh, place into a different layer. So I'm going to remove the layer too because I don't really need it. And uh, now what I need to do, I need to create, uh, move my uh, keyframes one after another so I can have a fluid uh, animation here. Okay, so then I just quickly test it, see what's going on, and it seems to be working fine. Um, that's all right. I'm going to hit Command Return, and uh, this is what I have. Now it seems to be a bit uh, screwed up somewhere, but uh, what I would like to do is to place every single uh, drawing at the center of my stage. So I'm going to select the first layer, the first drawing, and I'm going to um, align this to the center. I go to the next one, select, align to the center, so on and so forth, until I have all my drawings perfectly aligned. Um, again, this is a very basic tutorial and I still do it with my students because it actually clarifies a lot of doubts about Flash and uh, how the traditional animation works. Okay, Flash is very powerful and it can bring a lot of new tools, but I really believe that uh, having a good knowledge of these basics are uh, is, is very important. Okay, so I'm going to test this. There you are, it's probably looking a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to continue now. Okay, so now this is basically my animation, but I could uh, push this a little bit forward by uh, creating a movie clip out of this um, animation that is, that is on my on my timeline. So to do that, I basically select the first frame on the first layer and select all my frames in every layer. I do right click, um, I copy my frames, right? So I'm going into insert new symbol movie clip. I'm going to call it walk and I hit OK. Now it should be on my library. And what I do, uh, make sure you are on the walk um, movie clip, not in the scene, and go to frame one, select frame one, right click and then uh, paste frames. Now, what you have here is the same as you had previously, but inside your movie clip. Uh, there is a little problem here that I need to uh, clean, I need to fix, which is I need to clean uh, the rest of the frames here. I only need the keyframes, so I just do right click and convert to a blank keyframe, right click, Convert, convert to blank keyframe, right click, oops, be careful. And I continue until I finish, that should be all right. Blank keyframe. Blank keyframe. Okay, now you can test and then you can see that your animation, your walking cycle is looking much more cleaner. Now, uh, also important to know, you have it in your library, so you can use it anytime you want. And uh, now I'm going back to my scene, the main time timeline, and I'm going to remove all these uh, layers and frames because I don't need them anymore. So I'm going to remove all these frames I'm going to remove all these layers, all right? Uh, make sure you have one uh, frame on layer one. And now you can simply click and drag the walk movie clip onto your, uh, onto your workspace. And then you have it uh, now fully working. You can make it a little bit bigger if you want, and then publish it and that's what you have. Now the advantage of this uh, is that it saves, it really saves a lot of time when you're working on a long animation, uh, having your walking cycles or different set of basic animations in your library 
uh, is very very helpful saves a lot of time again and uh, also uh, if you need to create we can create from here we can create different uh, camera shots or um, shots for our animations for instance I can have this kind of shot okay which is a medium shot I can have probably close up here that it can also work okay you can have a very 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 wide shot and it all depends on what you put in the background okay that's okay and uh, also you can actually animate this in the classic way which is basically you can have your uh, movie clip off of outside the um, workspace and then uh, I don't know create a keyframe on frame 60 insert a keyframe just drag this along that way go in between your, one of your frames here and create a classic twin and you see that now our movie clip is moving from position A to position B uh, we are not able to see the animation here but as soon as we publish it we will see uh, what is happening okay so it's looking cool, cool. again so it depends on what you want to do uh, you can have a really nice set of backgrounds, a really nice set of characters. For this tutorial, I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible, but the process is basically the same. So please, if you have any question, just drop me a line and um, I would be very happy to help you as usual. And thank you very much. Have fun.